Now here's a stat I didn't know about you, mate. <laughs> and you can tell me if it's wrong. No less than 13 different managers were appointed at Watford during your 11... E- that cannot be right. That's that's less. Is it? Yeah, we had four managers for three seasons. Four different managers in three seasons. So I'm, um, I'm going to go... I'm sure, mate, I did this before. I'm sure it's 18. It's 18, 18 in 12 years. That is unbelievable. Well, well, listen. The obvious question is, you've got you've got enough experience. To tell us about how how do players generally find it? Is there a kind of sussing each other out period mm-hmm. when a new manager comes in? Tell me. Absolutely, I think there's a little bit of a. Um, at first, is it there's a nervous energy, isn't there? You all have yeah. that weird laugh, and do you give a handshake? Do you give a hug? It gets a bit <laughs> weird. Um, but I think with, with with most of them, you can suss them out within a week. Yeah, I think um, it's always interesting the first interaction followed by the first meeting. The first meeting's key. Mm-hmm. Um, if they're if if they're not great with English, for example, uh, but they give it a go, that normally yeah. endears the the players to to them. Like, okay, this is going to try. And he's also are they are they able to laugh at themselves? Yeah. Some managers come in. I remember when Marco Silva came in, mate. He was like, "This is what we're doing. This is how we're doing it." Get on board or get lost. Yeah. It was all like, oh, okay, yeah. he's the real deal. And instantly, like the training session was done on time. He was massive. He's a big stickler for timekeeping. Yeah. So like, meeting starts at ten. He was starting it at like nine fifty eight. Yeah. And lads were turning up at like fifty nine, ten o'clock. They're on time, but he was like, no, late. Keep the door locked. They ain't coming in. Is Proper right? things like that. Yeah. And yeah. he just instantly got you. Okay. He was like, you get everyone gets one chance. Yeah. But after that... Well, here's another on. one for you. Out of all the new managers, mm. I mean, I, I I would expect this to be the case, but I'm not sure whether it would be, and you tell me, because you, you'll be a better place to tell me. New manager comes in. Mm-hmm. Do the vast majority, if not all of them, give start everybody on a clean slate? Or have some of them, do you think, made up their minds, mm. having watched videos, watched the team... And they've come in with a, their own concept, think, right, I'm not really having him, or I might be having him. Or did they come in and say, right, everybody's got a clean slate and we're starting afresh. You've all got the same opportunity to impress. Yeah, normally it's it's a, it's a clean slate, isn't it? And I think one thing we know about players is we can pretend for a little while, but we'll show you who we really are over the course of time. And I yeah. think for most managers, it's if you're coming in in pre-season, the, the six weeks is perfect when you've got those games and yeah. you can just you can test people, can't you? They can do certain runs. You can say to some people, I'm not going to play you in this friendly, but you're going to play in that one. Yep. And they can then, as players, you start going, well, is that the A team? Is that the B team? Like, what mm-hmm. team am I in? And then you, you start to show who you really are. Um, if you're always late for something, you can pretend to be on time for a week, but after two, <laughs> three weeks, you're going to start falling back into how you are, aren't you? <laughs> I just think, it, I think it's a really fascinating time. I... The, the, the producers have given me like managers to go through and I, the best one I had was, was Nigel Pearson so he came in and it ended up being the year we got relegated but he came in in December um, I, I never spoke to Nigel properly about that I played against him a few times yeah. and what have you and he said to me pull me in his office so I thought right captain I'm going to get the, the you know the normal speech yeah. at this point I'm well versed in what, what's happening and he said uh, right I'm going to hammer you all day today and you're going to say nothing didn't say hello didn't say yeah. good morning he said, that's what's going to happen all right and i went yeah he went right get out of my office then and i thought oh a bit strong no problem go to the meeting i'm on time look starts with the captain you're all you're all late yeah. i've been in there 10 minutes before so i thought okay he's just warned me no problem mate we walked out onto the pitch the training pitch we did a little passing drill two balls go straight Dealey, that's your fault. And he's, ha- by the way, hammering me in front of everybody. Loud. I'm like, okay, this is it's getting to me a little bit now, mate. I'm like, okay, no problem. <laughs> we do a shooting drill. Watch, this is the best part. He's took the defenders one end. We've got Shake, uh, Shakey doing it. God bless, obviously, he's, he's passed yeah, away now. Shakey was doing the the shooting at the other end. Abdullah Decore is pa- passing to the to Shakey. He sets it. Go shoot. Funny. Yeah. Abdullah the core raised this. I'm not. He's the first person. He sets it, pumps back, and he kind of left foot onto right foot, 
and it's gone flying over. Yeah. But we all saw it. Stop. Deeney. And, and he's hammered me. I'm not even involved. <laughs> Ali, this went on for two hours and ten minutes. And then at the end of it, he's gone, right, everyone in. I think he saw the blood vessels going out. And he's pulled yeah. me and he goes, thanks very much, mate. I needed that. I was like, oh. He bought, uh, me, he bought me a nice little glass of... But isn't that wine. amazing? Yeah. They, they'll walk just, in different ways. Well, see that... Talk Sport Breakfast. Waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6am. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.